Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Helen and you are watching Stitch Rip Repeat. So today's video, as you'll have seen, is going to be the reveal for my collaboration with the lovely Tamlin to make our Zadie jumpsuits. So firstly, I have to say, if you have not seen our plans videos, please do go back and check those out before you watch the rest of this. I will pop a card to mine here and I will pop Tamlin's YouTube in my description below. I'm sure you already follow her, but you can click on that and go directly to her channel and see the plans video that Tamlin put up as well. So as I said, this was a collaboration which we talked about in our first video, but just to say that both Tamlin and myself wanted to make the Zadie and had not done so before, hence why we decided to work together and do these videos for you. So before I go into details of my specific jumpsuits that I made, I will give you some detail about the pattern itself. And hopefully I'll pop up the um, drawing, the line drawing that's on their pattern here so you can see what it looks like. It is meant to be a loose fitting jumpsuit and it has no fastenings, which makes it a really great sew for beginners as you don't have to worry about buttons or zips or anything like that. Also, because of the wrap over element of the jumpsuit, I think it suits basically everybody and every body type. So it's a fantastic pattern to dive into if you haven't done much sewing. Now, there are two options with the pattern. There is the grown on short sleeve version that I've made. And then there is the option to add a three quarter length sleeve onto that as well. So I'll go through some of the sizing, excuse me, but I've written it down <laughs> so that I don't forget. It goes from a size six to a 20, which they say are based on UK sizes. And they have based it on a five foot seven and a C cup for the bust. However, they did say in their write up that the testers ranged enormously from like double A's to double G's, etc and they had no problems with the fitting and didn't have to make uh, alterations hardly at all. So really good for all round. The sizing that it says six to 20 is a 31 and a half inch bust to a 45 inch bust, a 24 inch waist to a 37 and a half inch waist, and a 34 inch hip to a 47 and a half. Now there is a generous amount of ease in this pattern. And when I looked at the sizes, I fell between a 12 and a 14. For instance, I am a 37 and a half inch bust and the 12 is a 36 and a half and the 14 is a 38 and a half. So obviously I fall right in the middle of that. I am a 31 and a half inch waist and the size 14 was a 31 inch waist. So obviously I'm just over that. I am then a 38 inch hip, which is actually slightly less than the 12 because that's a 39. So according to this sizing, I kind of was around the 12 to 14. However, based on my investigations, I found that pretty much everybody that made this said because of the amount of ease to size down. So I looked at the finished garments, which is always a really good idea anyway, but the finished garments for a size 10 would give me a 40 inch around the chest, 34 inch for the waist and 45 inches for the hips. And I thought that that was plenty. So I didn't go for a 12 or a 14. I went for a straight 10 and it fitted perfect. And I don't want to speak for her, but I'm pretty certain that Tamlin sized down as well. And as I say, do go check out her video and she'll tell you all about how she got on. One of the reasons I had the Zadie on my plans list, and I have had it for quite a while, is the influence of all of the fabulous versions that I have seen popping up on my social media. Now, the pattern cover has a plane and I find that a lot of the versions that I see are in gorgeous plain linen type fabrics in lovely colours and I would really like to do that myself sometime but if you know me I do like pattern and so both of my Zadie jumpsuits had patterns on them 
Now the toile was a gorgeous dark navy blue, linen-like, but not actually linen fabric that I bought from So Affordable. And I will pop anything I talk about as always in the description below, so you can go and check it out. And this had bright flowers all over it. Absolutely love this fabric, love the end result. The one thing I would say if you are using a fabric like this when you make yours, Zadie, is consider placement. <laughs> Anyone who was in my sewing class on the day I was cutting out these pieces will tell you that I took a long time deciding where to do the two front bodices because what I did not want was the old flower boobs. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time making sure that where I placed the pattern onto the fabric would mean that I had a nice bit of the blue showing around that area and then flowers elsewhere. So yes, placement is very important. <laughs> Secondly, I should say when it comes to my final version, again, pattern fabric, it's like a sort of camouflage effect you'll see when I put the photos but I will say in advance I did not even attempt to pattern match this fabric I only had a certain amount because it was a slightly more expensive fabric anyway and I already made a mistake when cutting out and had to recut um, the bodice piece so I really didn't have enough fabric to be trying to pattern match so I'm happy with it I just went with it I just cut the pieces out and love them as it is so one of the things I did with my toile which I will pop in here is I decided to shorten the length no I didn't <laughs> and scrap that I decided to lengthen the trousers because the actual finished length of the trousers is a kind of slightly cropped and I really wanted this particular fabric to be more like a full length in the leg. Now the wonderful thing about this Zadie pattern is that they say in the instructions if you want to lengthen or shorten you literally just do it at the hem of the trousers so you can either chop a bit off or add a bit on. So I literally just put some paper underneath and added on about three inches to the bottom of the legs to give me that full length. I made up, as I say, the size 10 straight out of the packet and I found that the fit was perfect for me. I know that some people have issue with uh feeling that the crotch is a little low I did not feel this and also some people have mentioned that they have a, a fair amount of gaping at the back um, in the sort of uh, top half of the jumpsuit now I think obviously this is dependent on whether you're long torsoed or short torsoed everybody being slightly different will have slightly different fitting issues I felt I was quite lucky because I didn't feel I had either of these issues I think the crotch is just right and I did not have the extra fabric at the back. So even though I twirled this fully expecting to have to, you know, do a little bit of nip and tuck, <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. So I was really pleased that this came out at the size 10 perfect fit. So sewing this up, really, really straightforward. It, as I say, is a suitable pattern for beginners. I found that I made it in a very short amount of time probably the longest amount of time I would say that I spent was making and then sewing on the binding because you'll see hopefully from the photos that the neck and the front edges all the way round to the bottom are all bound by bias binding uh, which finishes off those raw edges lovely it looks really fantastic when it's finished, but it is not a hard sew at all. And the fact that it has no fastenings to worry about is just a uh, genius. It means, as I say, it makes it an accessible pattern for pretty much anybody who sews. So I loved this one. So when I came to do my second version with my lovely Eglantine and Zoe fabric, I didn't have to alter it at all because with this fabric I did want the crop version so I literally just did the size 10 and I absolutely love it so as I say this one was and I think that's how you say it Eglantine and Zoe that's a 
gorgeous viscose twill that I bought at my local shop here in Plymouth, which is Make at 140. Again, obviously, I will pop the link down below. Couple of issues I had with this one, nothing to do with the ZAD, but the fabric, gorgeous as it is, it does pull very easily. So when I was cutting out my pieces, one of my front bodices caught a thread and it pulled and I had a line all the way through one of the dark green areas. So probably for the general Joe out there <laughs> seeing me wear the jumpsuit, they wouldn't notice, but obviously that's all I could see. So unfortunately this meant I had to then recut the bodice so that I had one without a pull. And I didn't have a huge amount of fabric. So um, I was lucky in that the lovely Lizzie helped me do a little bit of Tetris with the pattern and the fabric so we could cut out another bodice. As I said, though, gorgeous as this fabric is, and I absolutely love how this jumpsuit has turned out. The very first time I wore it, I got a pull down my leg. And um, again, I'm sure nobody else would see it, but it's a little bit saddening for me because I feel like I spent a lot of love <laughs> making this jumpsuit and it's not ruined obviously it's absolutely fine and I will definitely wear it a lot but yeah it does pull easily so just um, a little word of caution if you do buy their viscose twill treat it very carefully I did tend to use clips when putting it together for seams and if I did use pins I used the really really fine tip sharp ones so that I hopefully wouldn't catch the fabric so yeah just a little tip for you there uh, yeah what can I say I absolutely love the pattern I found it very easy to sew I would highly recommend it as I say to beginners because the finished jumpsuit does not look like a beginner project and yet it is so straightforward and it's not difficult. You will find it a really fun sew. And I've made these two. Tamlin, you will see, has made them into a fabulous play suit version. So please do go check out how hers looks. Summing it up, the sizing is, I would say, very inclusive because although it only says it goes to a size 20, because of the ease in the garment, it gives you a lot to play with. So I would say um, that it's fairly size inclusive and suits pretty much every body type. I love the fact that it's a wrap because I have worn mine, both of mine, I have worn while I've eaten. And I like the fact that uh, I can loosen the ties a little bit after having had a good meal <laughs> and it doesn't spoil the look of the garment. So, yeah, I can happily say that I love my Zadies. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this collaboration with Tamlin. I do like collaborations when I watch them with other people and I've done a couple myself and I always enjoy working with someone else on a project. And of course, how lovely to work with the wonderful Tamlin. So do make sure that you go and check out her video and see the wonderful Zadies that she has also made. If you haven't looked at this pattern before, obviously from my video, I would highly recommend that you do. Go and check out the hashtag on Instagram. There is so many fabulous versions to get your juices going and get your creative thinking as to what you might use. As I said, I do like patterns, but it does look fabulous in a gorgeous plane, especially in linens. If you've made this AD, I would love to hear what you think. And if you haven't, again, I'd like to hear what you think, having seen my video. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. That really helps my little channel. Thank you so much for everyone that follows me. I don't say this often enough, but I really do appreciate you coming back time and again. I love doing my videos. I am what I would consider still a beginner sewer, but since coming on to here and sharing and seeing other videos, I feel so much more confident with my sewing and I love to share anything that I've learnt with you because when I learn something new I just 
love the fact that I can pass that on. And if you're coming back time and time again to hear me waffle, then I truly do appreciate it. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So enough of the waffle for today. So I will wrap it up for you there. I do hope you've enjoyed the review of my Zadie jumpsuit. And I hope it maybe gives you the idea of trying your own. I will sign off and I will see you all in my next video.